Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play Legend of Agaia for the PlayStation 1. My name is Silas Burr, this is your Soybeast Gaming Channel, and today, today my friends, we are heading over, over here, the Snowdrift Cape. So that is our destination today, and I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day. We just recently demolished Zeto's castle here and destroyed our first mist generator. And that was, well, that was amazing, I think. All right, uh, so let's just go ahead and get started here. We got some twin tombs. Uh, what do I wanna do? I kinda wanna use Gazam some more and power that up. Yeah, I really want to, um, I really want to try to work on this spell as, like, an alpha type spell. And, and if I'm correct about how this game seems to work, which I'm probably not. <laughs> I'm probably not. I think that the next area is not going to have a boss. So if the next area does not have a boss, then us using spells on our way to the next boss area is going to be beneficial. Now, I could be really, really long, and we could run into a boss that could face plan us because I do not have the abilities to fight it. And if that does happen, if that does happen, then what we can always do is we can always, um, we could always go back to town and refresh and restore. And that would not be, that wouldn't be the worst possible thing in the world, you know? It's weird that we're running to these enemies because, I mean, these are starting out area enemies. So, very interesting that we're running into those. But, you know, we can just easily take them out without any too many problems as we head our way to Snowdrift Cave. Uh, I didn't do anything in between episodes. Like I said, I just ran through uh, B1 Monastery, went to the, uh, the the food person to restore our stats, and then I uh, picked up the recording. Uh, why are we running into these guys? I do not understand. Yeah, the, these guys are no challenge for us whatsoever at this point. Remember when those guys used to give us a lot of problems? Because I sure do. So Von Siemens won the medal. Very, very easy. Yeah, just making our way over here. Like I said, it looks like the uh, the tile set for the monsters seems to be slightly off. Old school games had issues like that. I remember Final Fantasy 1 had what was called the Peninsula of Power. It was these like four tiles on the northern part of the first major landmass. And if you went there, uh, you basically fought enemies as if they were from the next continent above you. And those enemies will absolutely demolish you. Uh, but they call it the Peninsula of Power because... Because... Um, you could... You could actually win a fight there. And if you want to fight there, you could get incredibly strong uh, because you're getting, you know, just a ton of experience fighting enemies that you shouldn't be fighting. And, and, and it's for that reason they called it the Peninsula Power. Wait a second, we've been here before. We've been here before. Because I remember Blue Purius. 
Is this where we got Noah? I feel like this is where we got Noah. Which means this is why the enemies are so weak. Because we've already been here before. Yeah, this is where we got Noah. And then from here, we went down into Mount Rikaroa. So where are we supposed to go next? Um... Ah, Flightless Bird gets lost. That's what this episode should be called. It's not going to be called that, but that's what it basically is. Flyers where it gets lost. Yeah, I went from Stoja Cave to Mount Rikaroa. I was wrong about that. So, where do we head next? The only thing I can think of is that thing way up there. Um. <clears throat> I mean. That thing way over there is the only place we have been. Huh. I am unsure now. I feel like I just wasted the first, I don't know, 10 minutes of this episode because I don't know where to go. Well, you know what we can do? Since we know we have to head back to the B1 monster area, we might as well just use up all our magic and try to get a little bit stronger that way i mean that's the thing it's like the cool thing about this game is because your magic levels up with use even when you go back to previous areas you could still get stronger you know by utilizing uh magic to your advantage see because i'm just leveled up that makes it a little more powerful and that's not a bad thing so yeah, uh, I'm not, I'm not fully against this. Sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy today. I am a, I'm not a little bit stuffy today. I am, I am a lot of it stuffy today. Um, th this illness just, the after effects just don't seem to go away very fast. And the only thing I can do is just keep plugging away. Yeah, just keep plugging away, you know? Uh, let's see. She can't use um, it anymore, so let's work on Zeno R. Um, you can work on... Ah, uh, just Spirit. And if anyone's still alive, you can work on Theater. And there's a good chance someone may still be alive because of the, uh, the way the enemies move. Uh, that one hurts. Stealing magic loose is not cool. Those things are super duper expensive. Like, really, really expensive. And that is not cool, game. Interesting. So Zenowar isn't like Theater. Theater does the same damage. To every target that it hits. But Zenoar. Zenoar only does extra damage to the main target. And then it does like a splash damage afterwards. So even the different AoE spells in this game are different from each other. That's really neat. I appreciate that. See if we can actually get something done in this episode, uh, because I would like, I would like to air to be at least some movement in each episode, whether it's, you know, we're heading to a new dungeon or just something. I want to see some movement somewhere, and I don't mean movement as in you know increasing magic. I mean movement in. Um, actually doing something useful. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, please don't work. Ah! That's unfortunate. Maybe Theater can kill all three here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Got all three. Good job, Ozma. When I think of Ozma, I'm always thinking of uh, the boss from Final Fantasy IX. Does anyone else feel that way? I know Kyle said uh, he thought of, what was it, a character from RWBY? I haven't seen RWBY, so I can't comment on that, but Ozma, that glowing rainbow ball that's like so hard to defeat. I don't think I ever defeated it. I, I really wasn't into fighting super bosses uh, back in the day. Uh, yeah, I mean, one of the days I would like to play all the Final Fantasies on the channel, you know, but we have a lot of other stuff we're playing, so it's going to be a long time, most likely, but uh, when we do play through them, I do want to try to see about fighting those super bosses if I can. I mean, we fought uh, the extra boss in Legend of Gaia. Where am I going? I, I am going to this door. Uh, what else did we fight? Uh, we fought... We fought all the extra bosses in uh, Shadow Hearts that I know of. I think we fought all the extra bosses. Um, yes, uh, in Grandia. Did we fight everything in Grandia? I'm not sure, but we did play Grandia 2 on hard mode, which was a new difficulty setting for the uh, for the HD remaster, and that was that was pretty challenging at times. Although thanks to Melina, we were able to um, able to defeat some bosses using uh, paralysis techniques. Probably one of the few games that I played where having the ability to inflict status ailments on a boss paid off in substantial ways. Because without Melina's, um, what was it the demon eye move? Uh, there's no way. I could have beaten a lot of bosses in that game because the bosses would have decimated me. And they did decimate me. That was a really tough game on hard mode. And the beauty of the hard mode on Grania 2 is the normal trash mobs, so to speak. Oh, we got a new effect. Agility now. The normal trash mobs weren't really affected by the hard difficulty. It was only the bosses that were affected. So bosses had increased stats in HP levels, but normal enemies didn't. So the boss fights were, you know, drag out, beat them up um, type scenarios. Whereas the normal fights were, you know, much easier to handle. It made uh, getting EXP a lot, a lot easier to do. All right, well, let's see if this is the answer to my prayers. We can go in it. Ancient Wind Cave. Hey! I think we may be onto something. How do you do? I am the old wizard. Oh, that's a very descriptive title. Now that the mist has amazingly disappeared, I was just waiting for a customer. Welcome to my shop. I have everything and anything. Come on in in the back. Alright, well, this is not what I was expecting. Welcome to my shop. I sell powerful weapons. Very cheap. Do you want one? Uh, yes, I do. Um, that's not very more powerful. Yeah, it's not very more powerful. Ooh, an Iron Man seal. And yes, thank you, Kyle, for pointing out, I think it was Kyle, that uh, helmets come with int. I didn't realize that before. So, this is much better. Um, Iron Man Boots is good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Upper defense is sky high. Um, we have Green Robe. Also better. Tempest Shoes. Also better. Um, and the rest we have. Do we have enough for everything now? I don't think so. What's the most important thing? Attack? Man, we need, um, we need about 1,600 more gold. Can we get 1,600 more gold? 
I was told to hang on to this, by the way, because unlike other items, this actually is incredibly useful. Um, well, we could sell off old stuff. Increase AP accrual by 10%. Wow. That's really good. I definitely don't want to sell that. Um, I, I really hate selling things like that, but I kind of want the money. We're almost there. Just need a little more. What can we do to get it? We could sell one Phoenix. Ugh, he's selling Phoenixes. Could sell a medicine or two. That would help. Excellent. So what to buy something or sell something? No. Oh, well, goodbye. I didn't want to go over to the end. Uh, yes, I do want to stay. And uh, selling that second item is exactly what we need to get to the uh, uh, to get to the um, item amount that we need. I do wish to move the lever. Yes. All right. So it looks like if we came here before the mist was in the area, we probably wouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, the wizard would have guard guarded us, blocked us. Ooh, a silver compass. I like when I say, ooh, a silver compass, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> uh, Noah, you need to include the metal ring. Or equip the metal ring. Uh, decrease rate of being ambushed. That could be really useful. Um, you have extra slots, so why don't you go ahead and equip that. And we are fully powered up at this point. So, I have no doubt we can take on anything that comes away. Alright, let's head through here. Left is always right. Oh, this is more up. It's more up. When you when you had to go up or down, I always like to go down. Or I always like to go in the opposite direction of the way you were going. So we were going up in this cave, and there was a way to go down, which makes me think that going down was the smarter play. Uh the same thing here. Oh, hello. This is a town. It's not a dungeon. Well, my first customer is 10 years. I'm so happy. I'm called the Old Water Witch. I've been in business here for 40 years. But it's been 10 years since I've had any customers. I'm so happy now. Well, come on in. I'm going to store it in. You must be tired. Come along and I'll give you room for the night. Um, no, I just unfortunately spent 150 for a night. What? Oh, stop talking nonsense. You have to stay. Okay. I probably should have stayed anyway because there's always a chance that you're going to invent, right? You want to stay at, like, every inn possible? Hey, we got an event. Van, a new Are we all sharing this dream? Boo! Where are we? Um, I have no idea at all. This feeling is probably a dream, yet it feels different from an ordinary dream. What's the matter? A voice! I hear a voice! Who is it? My mother! It sounds like my mother! Noah, I am not your mother. My name is Hari. I inhabit a world between the dream world and the human world. I have a message for those in the human world and who are with the Vaseu. They are the true words of Rem. Go to Octam, the ancient yet eternal city far away in the heart of Sebekus. There, compassionate human beings will learn the true meaning of all dreams. So we need to go to Octam. Octam. Hari. Hari is going to tell us what our dreams mean. Hmm. Interesting. What does that all mean, I wonder? Vaughn, I had that dream again. Uh, I guess we should find Hari. That sure is a weird dream. Oh, huh, I want to see Hari. like how excited she always is. Such a refreshing girl. Do you dream a lot? Yes. Oh, good. I dream a lot, too. Dreams tell you about your future, you know. Do you want to learn how to tell the future from your dreams? Yes. I knew it. I knew it interested in dreams. Someone on the Sebekas Islands is a person who lives in dream world. His name is Hari. 
Hari, I know about Hari. Can Hari really tell you what a dream means? My, yes, my grandma told me so. He's an Octum. Hari's an Octum, right? Uh, uh, Octum? I'm sorry, I don't know much about the outside world. Vaughn, I made up my mind. I'm gonna go look for Hari. Vaughn, will you help me find Hari? Of course I'll help you find him. Good, I'm so happy. Thank you, Vaughn. Absolutely. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, when you get out of the cave, go northwest. There you'll come to the town of Jeremy. I've heard of it was a, ter a beautiful town famous for an amazing tree in the sky gardens, but now who knows? All right, so we need to go northwest. The old woman, she was a nice person, don't you think? Uh, yeah, she is. We were orphans, but she was kind enough to raise us. The Sebeka's islands to the north are covered by the mist. Be sure you have everything you need. My inn is open. Um, okay, now you charge me 150. Um, I had to go down here, though, to get the items. I like how they move back and forth. It's a really nice touch. Ooh, a golden compass. Increase the allies rate attack first. That's good. Uh, defense against various powers. And then, um, alright. Obviously, can't, uh, do anything because we just spent all our money on equipment. Uh, but we do have a ton of items, so I do feel good about that. Got some magic water. You're my first customer in a long time. I can't let you go away empty-handed. Vana has two doors of wind? Old Witch, what is this? What? You don't know about the Doors of Wind? Let's see, where do I start? It's an item that lets you fly any time to a tiny visit at least once. Well, that's good. You can't use it in caves or inside town, but many islands make up the Sekvis Islands. Use a window to get around there. Uh, thank you for your kindness. Oh, don't mention it. Well, good luck to you. So, hopefully the two Doors of Winds aren't consumable items. Because those sound really, really useful. Um, sort of like Doors of Light. And the reason I say hopefully they're not like Doors of Light is because, you know, those can be expensive. I want to check out the other side here that we didn't go through. Aha! A Healing Bloom. Alright, totally worth it. And now let's head finally to where we're supposed to go. Which is the uh, Sebicus Islands. And we first want to go northwest to the town of Jeremy, or Jeremy. So let's start out by going northwest, I suppose. And along the way, we'll bash in as many heads as we can. Do we get a new map here as well? I assume so, right? Hey! Yeah, so instead of having a map like most games, it looks like your maps are divided into segments, which are pretty interesting so there's a place there to the northwest uh, that may be the town of Jeremy or that may be the town of Jeremy it's kind of hard to tell uh, let's see what else do we have here a lot of things going on I don't see anything in the back area there's something way over there something way over there <laughs> hmm a lot of different areas, so I guess we'll head to that place first because it's on the way. The mist is thick in this area. Although I don't think you can actually capture monsters outside of dungeons. I don't know. We haven't really had the opportunity to test that theory. Um, and we're not gonna have time to test that theory because these guys are not gonna help me test it. But, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at our, look at our armor now. I, I love the green, it matches her gloves. Very, very cool. And she has a headband as well now. And we have our first freeze. Eh, it happens. Yeah, it, it's, it seems to be going, um, a lot smoother since I've gone to big cash. Um... But it's, it's just going to be something that happens. The load times overall seem to be really nice, though. I mean, the battles load pretty quick. Um, in the settings, I have it, like, at CD read times 2. I wonder if that's causing the occasional delays. But 
on the flip side, like I said, it does seem to uh, uh, speed up everything else. Alright, so Goblin here. Or I should say Ogre. Uh, has a lot of HP. And his attack pile went up, which is kind of annoying. So we want to make sure we kill these guys first from now on. Although, Kazam, you know, I probably didn't need to spear it though. I probably could have finished this guy off with just a normal attack. Something to think about for the future. Good job, Noah. Single handedly cleared out that fight. You are amazing! Uh, let me check out stats because I want to see. I want to see uh, how our EXP levels are looking. Uh, no, Avon has. What, 3,000? Man, that's. What, 15 fights? Noah's actually pretty close. She's got about 1,300. And Gala is pretty close. He has about 1,900. So Vaughn seems to have the, the furthest to go. Uh, I don't think there's anything down to the south, but it's kind of tough to tell because of the way camera cuts things off. Uh, now we know there's nothing down there because we just looked. That definitely looks like a town up at the top because of the windmills. This area looks like a giant tower. And maybe a town as well though. Ooh, look at the Kabuki rat. That looks amazing. We also have a Hell's Trigger. Uh, I'm gonna continue to practice Kazam as much as possible. Cause this looks like a good, a good spot with towns in the area. We know we're heading to a town next, so very unlikely that we're gonna run into the bo a boss in the open field. What I should have done though is I should have used Bubble Crush with um, our fire attack just in case they survived. We didn't need to this time, but. Also getting 133 gold, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not great. I would like our gold to be a little bit higher. Would be nice if we were killing enemies that were giving us 200 gold at this point. But, oh well. All right, so is this a town or is this a dungeon? It looks like a town. But the music tells me otherwise. Uh Bon, it's mist! And what sort of monsters in mist? No, it's a Genesis tree. I said it's a Genesis tree. That means we can save this town if we revive the Genesis tree. I sense that the Genesis tree is somewhere in town, someplace high up. How exciting! I wanna go! I wanna go to the high place! Oh, brother. Alright, so this town is completely devoid of anything and everything. Oh, and this is Jeremy, too. Uh, Land of the Amazing Sky Gardens. Jeremy Tourism Board. Alright, um... You know... We may not be able to... We may not be able to rest anywhere in this, uh, in this area. Because both towns could have been afflicted with the mist. And if that's true, then... Yeah, if that's true, then can't use Kazam anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna have you go on auto, and you can use Theater. Well, what it, one thing I can always do is I can always check back to um, I can always check back to uh, the uh, the witch's place and uh, restore my stats there. And then after I have a sword my stats there, we can, um, we can head to, uh, Jeremy. But I want to head to the other town first to see if the other town has, has anything of note. Because the other town may be afflicted with the, uh, the mist as well. And if they're afflicted with the mist, we're not going to be able to go anywhere, um, at our current state. But at least we can uh, improve our magic some. I would like no one have a little more MP so she could cast multiple um, Kazams before she runs out. That would make leveling up uh, her spells a little bit easier because right now she can only cast what twice uh, before she runs out. Although we do have some heals, but in order to use heals, we have to get hit and 
you know, the way we're decimating enemies, that's not happening. There's a lot of places to go here. I'm looking ahead at the place to the top right there. That also looks like a uh, place we could probably enter. Oh, a killer bison in a poison swarm. Now that looks cool. Uh, you go after the bison. Um, you go after the uh, bison as well. Probably has the most HP. And you uh, theater uh, the worm. Man, that guy looks awesome. Oh, look at that. Guy is amazing to look at. He hurts though, unfortunately. Definitely, definitely hurts a lot. But pretty amazing to look at. I like how uh I like how the attack is basically like a fist bump. Xenoar's magic level increase. Fantastic. I believe it's only like a level two. As cool as Gimard is, Gimard doesn't do the damage that Xenoar does. Although Gimard is significantly cheaper at least. And that helps a lot. Ooh. That hurt a lot too. Oh yes, finally. What was I just saying? I would like to be in the 200s in gold. Fought two enemies, get 276 experience, which is a lot of experience, and 250 gold, which is a lot of gold. That is, that is, we bueno. Very, very good. All right, time to check out what this town is like. If this town is hit by the mist as well, or if this is an actual town that I can. Vidna. Well, the music seems much more cheery, and I see people that aren't infected. Well, what do you know? You're my first customer since the mist came. Before the mist came, there were plenty of tourists in town, and I was a tour guide. If you want it, I'll give you guys a tour. How about it? Um, I want to see Octum. Okay, 12 Octum it is. Uh, no, no way. I don't have the money. Um, I'm a professional tour guide. Giving away free tours again is against my professional ethics. I'm sorry, it's just too expensive. Before the mist came, this was the world's best resort area. I've had visitors from all over. Pepe lives behind the hot spring, came here with his mother, and got stuck here. Alright, well, the first thing I want to do is go into the inn. If you want to know about Octum, I can tell you for free. Okay. Uh, there are many things to Octum. What do you want to know about? Um, about the flying wagons. Octum was once held with transportation. The flying wagons were used for transport. These wagons were moved by a large Seiru. People would ride them and travel east to Caristo. I'm not busy now, so I can tell you more. Uh, about the Temple of Ram. Temple of Ram is a huge temple located deep inside Octum. Now, Ram is a god of time, right? Well, this person called Hari would tell everyone the prophecies of Ram. I don't think I caught that Ram is the god of time. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. That feels like it's important. Is this another time travel game? Because we've done a lot of time travel type games on this channel. And that would be amazing if it was. People used to say that if you had a strange team, you should tell Hari. I'm not busy now, I can tell you more. Um, where Octum is. You wanna know where Octum is even though you can't go outside because of the mist? How silly. Oh, well, I'll tell you. First go north and cross the bridge, then follow the coast southeast. So, north bridge. North bridge. Um, coast southeast from Vidna. Yes, I'm writing this down so I don't forget. You'll see a peninsula stick now out into the sea. Octum is at the tip. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, the rate is 200 per night now. Ouch, that one hurts. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anything back here? Um, nope. All right, well, let's check upstairs. Someone over here. Hey, you guys know about the Gate of Shadows? No, I have no idea. The Gate of Shadows is an ancient ruin located east of Octum. It's called a gate, but there are no roads there leading anywhere. Some say an ancient treasure is here now, but nobody knows for sure. If only a missile weren't there, I would check things out myself. Where is this at? East of Octum? So, uh, Gate of Shadows. East of Octum after mist cleared. 
Looks like we have to clear the mist first. Or, we can go there now, because we can fight in the mist. Uh, door of Wind. Okay, so it looks like the Door of Winds are consumables. That's why we got two. Uh, healing Flower. Pace Explorer. Um, <clears throat> before the mist came, there was the world's best resort area. We had visitors from all over. Yeah, the Hot Springs. I remember those. I was like, man, I would love to go to the Hot Springs. That sounds like so much fun. Uh, used to be a souvenir shop, but now it's an item shop. Wow. Oh my gosh. That ring we got is 12,000 gold. That is so expensive. We also got some extra defensive gear here. Nullify all venom and toxic attacks. That sounds very useful. Nullify all rot attacks. I wish I had one of those in Elden Ring. Got got to a place in Elden Ring which had a bunch of uh, rot infested areas and that was just a nightmare. Although I got through it, I got an item called a Scare, which increases my uh, rune regeneration rate, which is amazing. Before the mist came, I bought lots of healing leaves to travel around it its itself. Uh, 10 healing leaves. Awesome. Alright. Um, wait, did I just get 10 healing leaves? 10? <laughs> that just hit me. I was like, whoa, wait a second. Do you know Dompas? No, we don't. You know, he lives on the west edge of town. Why don't you go see him? Um, no one else says anything noble to him either. The machine room is my um, favorite place in the whole town. It's really hot inside, but the machines that move the windmills are there. They're so cool. All right. Oh, look at this. They're just lounging at the beach. You know what they look like? They look like Jesse and James from Team Rocket. <laughs> oh, Team Rocket's blasting out of, off again. Vidna is a nice town, but it's not very exciting. It's been 10 years since the mist came, and the outside world is in a horrible state. But in peaceful Vidna, things are downright boring. I wonder if something exciting will happen. Ah, uh, be careful what you wish for, is what they always say, right? Alright, let's continue to go west. Or left. What a troublemaker that Dampas is. Saying strange things is scary, everyone. I wonder if there's a monk in the town. Okay! Oh, right? Not just a monk, there's a lot of monks. Talk about timing. No, I did not know this was here. Hey, Gala, look, people from Biwan. It's a lot of Biwan people. Oh, this place does. Gala, what's wrong? I thought the Biwan people were your friends. It's just that I violate the teachings of Biwan by wearing Azma. What's the matter, Gala? Zobu forgave you? Then why? Bon, say something to Gala. Uh, he'll understand if you explain. Gala, don't torment yourself. Yeah, always be true to yourself. But. Gala, Bon is right. And what's more? Asma is a saver. He's a Vat saver. So you didn't do anything wrong. I like the technical detail there. Vat saver? Did you say Vat saver? That's right. A Vat saver is the same thing as a saver. Oh, hurry. Your prophecy has come true. And you are... Allow me to introduce myself. I am called Sashia. Sashia, are you a friend of Hari's? Not really a friend. I serve Hari. I am a priestess at the Temple of Rem. Before the mist came, Hari instructed me to go to Vidna. I was to wait for three years to bring Rasebu and give them the message. THE message, all capitalized. Hari knew that we would come here. Wow, that Hari is amazing. Where is he? I want to meet him. I am sure that Hari awaits your visit too. I shall now give you the message as instructed by Hari. Go to the Temple of Rem. See the four books of prophecy. When you have seen them all, the secret will be clear. A brave Vaseru will acquire a great key, the Star Pearl. Uh, four books of prophecy, Star Pearl. What is this, a riddle? He, Hari said that with this, the youth wearing Vaseru would find a way. Um. Excuse me, but... Hey, they stopped exercising. I have heard of you. You are a Biwan, yes? Uh, actually, not anymore. Things being, being the way they are, I'm sure there are very good reasons. Nonetheless, you are visitors that Sasha, Sasha has waited all this time. Please rest here. 
You know, I need to stop resting on ints because I keep getting free ints <laughs> immediately after. The Temple of Rem is an octum. Good luck to you all. Do you want to hear the message tomorrow again? Sure, one more time. Uh, go to the Temple of Rem, see the four books of prophecies. Uh, secret will be clear. Sir, I hear Ari is an amazing man. I would like to go to Octum myself. Sir, Sasha has been waiting for you for more than 10 years. Sir, is, a, is Master Zopu a Beowulf monastery? Well, yes, he is. Well, that's good. I'm ready to hear that. Sir, we were traveling the world, spreading the teachings of Beowulf. When the mist came, this is the way we were. We barely escaped death. Unfortunately, none of them are teaching me moves, though. Darn it, that's what I was hoping for when I said I hope there's a monk of Biwan here because I want to learn some new moves. Ah. Uh... Miss Dompas. Oh my, your stranger's here. Did you come to see Dompas? Yes, I did. If you're looking for my husband, he's underground. Just go down those stairs. All right. The shelter's completed and ready any time. Okay. Do you realize how serious the situation is? No, I don't. Oh, this is ridiculous. You don't realize what's happening? Fools, 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 all of you. Wow, apparently he must be related to Francisco Von Carmo from Ace Attorney. All right, uh, yes, I realize how bad the situation is. The task people really don't realize how horrible the miss is. Do you, don't you fellows agree? Uh, yeah, I do agree. You know, you seem pretty smart. What would happen if for some reason the wind was stopped? The, whisk, the mist would swallow us all. Oh! Okay, that's why the mist isn't here, because the windmill is smart. We'd all be eaten by the say we were possessed by them. That's why I'm preparing for when that happens. I built an underground shelter. And what do the townspeople do? They treat me like a lunatic. Fools, fools, they're all fools. You seem to know what's going on, so if the mist ever comes, you can hide in here. For you fellows, I'll have an especially good hiding place. Better safe than sorry, that's my policy. Huh. Huh, I see what he's doing. It's pretty clever, actually. Can't talk to that guy, unfortunately. Yeah, Dompus is a pretty smart dude, actually. Alright, well, let's see what's down here. Nothing down here, uh, except a windmill. So, I can see what's going to happen is the windmills are going to stop sometime after we uh, clear out Jeremiah, aren't they? You're a new face. We don't get many visitors from afar. So, have you been in the hot spring? No, I haven't. Oh, that one too. How can you come to Vidna without being in the hot springs here? Hot springs are just an attraction. They're the town's light bulb. Go ba bathe in them. Lifeblood. Bathe in the hot springs and refresh yourself. I plan on doing so. It's boring not being able to leave town, but I'm used to it. Hey kid, here, take this. Play a game on this machine. Find a house, 10 coins. If you want to play a game, go to the machine and drop the coin in. Alright. Let's see how unlucky I am. Wow, I got 30 coins just like that? Aw. 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 Ah, yep, that's my normal luck. My luck with luck-based machines aren't good. I wonder if he sells more coins. I just charge people to bathe here, but it's too much house now, so you can go for free. Same for as long as you want, you'll feel refreshed. You give me more coins? Wanna play again? How about one coin for 100 gold? Oh my lord. Uh, wanna trade a coin for an item? Wow. I, I can only imagine what the war soul is like. Unfortunately, I don't have anything here. And considering I try not to save scum on games like this, I doubt I'll ever get enough money. Beneath the Sabuccas Islands runs a huge volcano belt. That's where the hot spring come from. See, normally what I would do is, in past games, like if I play by myself, like with Dragon Quest, for example, is I'll save scum. So I'll win, and then I'll go out and save, and then I'll play till I win, and then I'll go out and save. Then I'll play till I win, I go out and save. But it's not something I really want to do when um I do Let's Plays and stuff like that. Ah, oh, Hot Spring is secret to long life. I wish it would have been like some sort of uh, 
graphical display when you go into the hot springs. Alright, well, let's, um... Let's go back here. Can I help you? Do you wish to hear a song? Sure. Good, then I shall say a song for you. The stars' silent tears, the moon's shining smile, a ship of dreams sails the Milky Way. Look, now, there it is, the gate of shadows. Hari waits there. Hari has one heart, but Hari has three faces. Hari has three mouths. Hari dreams three dreams. That is all. So it looks like in order to find Hari, I have to go to the Gate of Shadows. Daddy's at work and Mommy's at the Hot Springs. I would see Mommy's at the Hot Springs. I saw Daddy at the Hot Springs. I was born in Jeremiah, a town south of here. My father is still there, as far as I know. Uh, my father's name is Zaylin. He's a jeweler. Ah, if only the mist would go away, I could go to Jeremiah and see my father. Alright, so I need to come back to see this guy after we clear the mist in, um, in Jeremy. They say that the Seiru turns savage and possessed people when touched by the mist. But th here, there's no mist, so you can wear Seiru safely. Of course, there's no need for them. I like your helmet. Your helmet's really cool. There's no mist at Vidna, so you can wear Seiru safely, but there's really no use for them. Hey, you guys are wearing some nice Seiru. Where'd you get those? All the dots. Whoa, man, I've had enough. Welcome. We have various weapons and armors. What can I do for you today? Um, Better sword... Better claw, better blub. Everything is so expensive, though. I kind of wish I hadn't used that money at that previous town. I mean, come on, who does that? Who has a town with like new items and then immediately has another town with new items? I mean, come on, that's just wrong. God, I spent all my money upgrading, thinking I want to have to upgrade for a while, and immediately I get another town that has an upgrade. Machine room. The heart of the windmills that protect Vidna. You can go in, but be careful. Uh, oops. Right, what do we got down here? Whoa, whoa, don't get many visitors. This machine room. Hot, eh? Yeah, it is. Hot water and steam comes shooting up from inside the earth. We use it to power the windmills. The windmills will use to cool things off for tourists. We also find another use for them. As you can see, Vidna will never have to worry about the mist as long as there's hot spring water. Oh, well, that's clever. And what's all the way at the bottom? Oh, there's a chest down there. Hey, be careful. That water's hot. Stick your foot in there and you'll get burned big time. Ouch! See, I told you the water's hot, I said. Even so, you should speak up. If it's hot, then say so. Did that actually hurt me? No. Okay, good. Alright, so it looks like... It looks like we can't get the chest until the windmills break. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a dungeon. So after we clear out one mist, it looks like this town's going to be attacked. And the mist is going to come. And then we have to go down there into the area and um, and fight through it to clear out um, the, the bad guy who's causing problems in the town. Alright. Alright. Do you know why the mist doesn't come into this town? Yes, I do. It's the windmills. So you do, eh? Uh, it is the windmills, right? Uh, Vinny is full of windmills. The strong wind they generate blows the mist away. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Alright, well, this is uh, the town of Vinna. A lot of good stuff here. Although, I think what I want to do is I want to go try to clear out Jeremiah before we explore the rest of this area. So, before we head to Octum to see Hari. I want to head to uh, Jeremiah to uh, to activate the Genesis tree. Ooh, a new plant, Lip Kid. All right, we probably need to spear it up. Those things still make disgusting noises, though. Yikes! 116 damage. Those things hurt. 
All right, um, Noah and company, everyone focus on the killer bison. And then we'll take care of the plant. Man, these guys hurt. That didn't kill it, wow. Only 265 damage and Noah did 400? Dang. Noah is definitely the powerhouse of this team, that is for sure. All three of them together should be able to finish this fight off. Man, 240. Oh my goodness, Noah. You are insane, girl. Good job. So we know that there's a ton of really good equipment we can buy if we can save up some gold. And I'm hoping that after we clear this dungeon, uh, we'll be able to, you know, buy some of that equipment. And um, we're going to get uh, a bit stronger as well. And who knows, we may get new summons in here. It would be nice if uh, we can get a Gazam summon for uh, uh, for um, for uh, Gala here. I know that this guy pumps himself up. So the idea is uh, to try to kill him before um, before he gets like the strength up. And with all three characters attacking him, we should be able to do so. All right, that was that was okay. All right, so he's almost dead. Uh, so I rather I rather focus on the bird or the butterfly. Sorry. Wow, just a bunch of straight attacks. That's a weird auto command. That's more. That's more like it. And there's what I was hoping for. He gets the attack up, but that also wastes his turn. And Gala should be able to kill him on this turn, right? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Not a lot of experience in gold, though. Hmm. I, need, I guess I need more of those poisonous slugs. Huh. Told me for a little bit more there. All right, uh, Jeremiah, right here. All right, and this is where we're going to call it a day because we are at a new area. And before we explore this new area, it just makes sense that we stop here. Uh, my name is Flaze Burr, this is your Soybeans Gaming Channel, and this is your blind Let's Play Legend of Legaia for the PlayStation 1 uh, emulated through RetroArch. Uh, we only have one coin, and that's sad. Like I said, I doubt we'll ever get enough points to actually do anything. But we'll head to this town on the next episode, and we'll see what we find. Uh, until then, my friends, thank you for everything. I love you all so very much, and so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.